Ah, back again. So I was just didn't know what, I need to like uh, get some software to connect videos. But um, I just want to do this naturally, you know. I don't need to be all like edited out. It's not supposed to be professional. So uh, it would be useful if I could just join videos together. You know, it's very windy here today. I've got to tell you, very windy indeed. So I'm just going to go on a little uh, wander about, take you with me. You're my only friend. And um, yeah, where was I? Yeah, we did the integration. Um, the integration is where you talk about the two ceremonies, um, how it went for you, what you learned, what you what happened, how it made you feel. It can be quite emotional. People cry. I've cried. I've just farted. Uh, <laughs> yes. Um, but so yeah, so basically it just brings out all sorts of things, just just like that. You see? Um, oh, I'll tell you what we'll do. This is where people play, um, play and talk. Still not with it. These are tents, yes. These are tents, just in case you wonder what they were. There's a man with some tents. I just want to show you these toilets. Now, these are the toilets. When you're in the dome, this is what you have to go from the dome to here. And these are the ceremonial toilets. And as you'll see, that's it. You can't sit down, you've got to somehow, you need strong like leg muscles. You've got to perch yourself. It's not supposed to be comfortable. And uh, yeah, we won't actually go any further into that. So I've had some uh, lovely moments in these toilets. Um, <laughs> fighting the forces of darkness, so to speak. So yeah, the uh, integration is, um, it's basically everyone saying who they are and no, we've done all that. We know who each other is by then. Um, it's just saying how, how you got on in the ceremonies, you know, how you feel. I don't know where I'm going now. It's a bit like my life. Let's go up here. Let's, let's, uh, yeah, actually it's good up here. It's nice. I've never been here before. Um, anyway, let's go back to the ceremonies. So, well, the ceremony last night. Um, I think I was starting to tell you about, I was... We took the cup of ayahuasca and I started uh, rubbing my legs because I hurt and I was deep breathing and uh, this is actually where I did my Cambo Miracle video you can go back and watch it um, anyway yes so I started doing some um, it's a bit windy in more ways than one so I started doing some breathing through the nose out through the mouth and I was getting really into it. And as I was rubbing this, my legs, and I went up to my body, I started, I just started getting very emotional. I was just thinking I've had 30 years of pain and it's half a coconut. Strange. Not coconut trees, are they? No. Yeah, that's it. I sit back down this log. And I'm not proud to admit, I started crying. That was before the ayahuasca kicked in. Started uh, a few tears coming down my face. Um, what you find is with ayahuasca ceremonies, sometimes the healing starts, and the same with Cambo, sometimes the healing starts before you even start doing it. Um, got quite emotional early on. And uh, remember that much. Um, and the ayahuasca kicked in. I was having a few visions, closing my eyes. Um, again, I had the same sort of problem with my stomach. Um, wasn't as bad as the first one. The first ceremony the night before. Um, I did end up going to the toilet, but I wasn't there for two hours. As you can see from my eyes. Uh, but what I did do last night is, I think I was just dancing for hours. Um, I think I was saying there was a new guy doing the, playing the guitar, Lauren. So the music was different, a bit more Portuguese, but it was great, really good. Him and um, Lorenzo bouncing off each other. Lorenzo mainly does the drums, but he's got a great, great, great vocal as well. Um, and obviously Veronica was there, so she was in there again. And um, I'm just trying to remember now, really, what I got out of it. I think I got some. Um, clarity on my personal life what to do and also got some clarity on my 
pain in my body. And I really have this strong belief that the pain has come from many years ago when I was break dancing as a kid, 15, 16. Head went one way, body went the other. Because I never had any pain when I was younger. Um, and I think I've got an issue in the neck here. So it's made me want to actually have an MRI scan in the neck just to see if I'm right. Because um, although the pain was eased after the six ceremonies before and the cambo, uh, it's come back more or less. And um, so I don't think it's an emotional pain because emotionally I feel like I'm uh, a lot more free, a lot more light. Come here, very light. Um, but yeah, I should have really thought about what I was going to say. But um, yeah, I was just dancing, dancing for, for hours, literally. Um, in between the time I was purging. This is how it works, basically. You can go from darkness to light, light to dark. And um, I really can't think of anything in particular, apart from um, some clarity on my personal life, which is what I set my attention to be. Um, I've got that now, pretty sure. I know what I'm doing now, and uh, it's all good. I won't go into it because it's my personal life. So there you go, some things are personal. Um, and then at the end of it, we, we sing the, uh, the famous song, which goes a little something like this. Now, Lorenzo does it brilliantly. Um, Bajo, and then you go, Bajo, dear one. And then you go, dear one, shakena. And then you go, shakena. When I say you go, I'm talking about everyone. Lorenzo's doing this bit. And then you go, holy name, holy name. Barco, dear one. Got that wrong, didn't I? Barco, dear one, shakena. Holy name. Barco, dear one, shakena. Holy name. When I call on the lad of my soul, I come home. So I can see much better on our west, that's for sure. Uh, so yeah, close the ceremony. Everyone hugs each other. Um, I was absolutely knackered, to be honest. And we had the soup inside the, the yurt and some fruit. And I think I went to bed quite early. So I think the ceremony finished about three o'clock, and normally it's four, half four. So I finished a little bit early. Um, but yeah, I was absolutely shattered. Um, I think I woke up about 8 o'clock, not too bad, not too bad. By the time I got to sleep, probably had about four hours. It was good, didn't it? Four hours, plenty. Uh, no point in wasting time in bed. So, uh, I've had a quite a quiet day today. I've been in the yurt, my yurt. Um, I haven't really slept, but I've just been chilling out. Um, dinner's going to be served soon. And I've decided there's two more ceremonies and they're going to be in, back in the dome, yeah, with a fire. And so there's going to be a lot more people, and they're all on their way. A lot of them are coming tomorrow. So a lot of old friends from previous retreats are coming back, so I'm really looking forward to seeing a few people. And I'm going to do one more, I think, on Saturday, which wasn't planned, but um, it's the last ceremony of the season. And uh, I just feel like one more is what I need. But it's... It's an amazing, amazing medicine, ayahuasca, it really is. Um, it's a humbler, it's a healer, it's a teacher. And the only way you'll ever find out is to do it. And um, don't be scared though, don't be scared. Um, it is tough as well, it is tough, it is dark. You know, there's absolutely no embarrassment of showing your true emotions. You know, men we cry, not a problem. It's good, it's good. Um, no one judges anyone, you know. In fact, everyone is there for each other. You know, as I've said, I've, I've wet myself in a ceremony. You know, the time I needed to go, I just could not move. I couldn't, I just didn't have any strength. And I thought, I've got to. That was, that was a few ceremonies ago. I don't even know if I mentioned it, but there you go. I've, I've wet myself, I've cried my eyes out, Battle with the devil. So I know you're talking about the devil. And um, it is good. And you know, in these troubled times that we're living in, 
There's a lot of darkness around at the moment, and I think there's more darkness to come. And I do believe there's going to be a spiritual awakening, and um, I think it's going to get worse. People are starting to wake up to this crazy agenda. It's not going to. It's not going to work. Good will be will be bad. Yeah, but um, so we've got to go through a process and it's all going to be worthwhile in the end. Look at this place, I love it. So let's go a bit, let's, let's go for a little walk. Come with me, come with me. Let's keep going, let's go this way. I haven't been, I haven't been any further. Looks nice. I remember having a conversation with some trees and some plants. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how they seem to talk to you when you're on Alaska. Uh, one of them, literally like a Dalek, had it like, obviously it was just like branches, but it looked like a Dalek when I went for a piss. I was talking to it, I was going, you look like a Dalek. <laughs> Do you know what it said? I will exterminate you. I didn't say that at all. Look at this place. There's a, it's like a town down there, I don't know which, oh, that, I think that's all Giva. Yeah, that's all Giva. All Giza, it's all Giza, son. It's all Giza. I'm an all Giza. So I'm just going to walk down to the kitchen, make myself a little brew. Um, oh, not again. You see what I'm saying? It's this plant-based diet. Let it out, get it out. Get the darkness out. But anyway, the wind's up. So, uh, that's someone said that in the, in, the, uh, in the integration about the wind being up. They were talking about the wind being up. So when it was my turn, I was going, my wind was up as well. And I would like to apologize to the guy next to me. <laughs> oh. In fact, I've, I've been honored. I've been honored as, as the silliest person in Amarillo. <laughs> Veronica gave me that title. Uh, not the silliest person. She said, "I love you all. I love, I love, love you even, even when people are being silly." She looked right at me. Everyone laughed. I'm a bit silly, aren't I? I'm a bit silly. Look at that tent there, on the precipice. I knew that one is. Brave. Oh. Do you know what? When you're here, you forget all about the madness of what's going on outside in the real world, you know. I'd just like to hibernate until it's all over, but um, it's great just, just to be in here. Not a mask in sight. Everyone hugs each other. No one catches anything. What a surprise. Anyway, there's a lot of almond trees here. These are almonds. See these almonds? Well, that's not an almond. There you go. And almonds, they don't come out like that. They're in a, they're in a skin. They're in a... What's an almond, obviously. And, uh, yeah, look. So they actually, yeah, they go like that when they're ready to eat. But they've got a, an encasing. An encasing. <laughs> Let me try and give you a demonstration. An encasing. <clears throat> yeah, so I've had some nutcrackers, I'll be well away. There you go, it's an encasing. Encasing an almond. Right, right. Oh. 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 <coughs> I haven't got the teeth for that. So, um, I'm supposed to, from tomorrow, I'm supposed to be going into it. I've got a tent. I'm supposed, I'm supposed to be coming near putting a tent up, but I think I might be staying in the yurt. Uh, Veronica said I could stay in the yurt. Uh, but um, I've got a tent. In fact, it's quite a big tent. Probably about the size of that one there, that blue one. Can you see it? It's like a three-man tent. So I was going to pitch up here, but I don't think I need to. Okay. When I call on the light of my soul, I come home. Holy name. There's a dome. So we have to walk to get to the toilets. This is the way we walk. 
It always feels like a bit of a different journey when you're in the middle of a ceremony at night. It's very quiet here at the moment, there's not a lot of people about. Got the girls in the kitchen. A lady there, she's an absolute angel. She's, she looked after me the other night. When I was going for a bit of a bad time, she came up to the toilet four times checking up on me. And the name is absolutely lovely lady. Absolutely, seriously, an absolute angel. See if there's anything happening in the dome. Yeah. It's a Friday, Saturday, it's gonna look a bit different from this. That looks like ayahuasca. What the hell? Can't be, can't be. I don't know what it is. I'm not going to drink it though. Whoa. I don't know what's been going on in here, but it was going to do a bit of work. A bit of uh, watermelon in the floor there. Nice, nice. Anyway, I've completely and utterly waffled on for 16 and a half minutes. So, if you're still there, oh yeah. If you're still there, then. Um, find something a bit more interesting to do, all right? No, thanks for watching, and um, nothing else to report I can think of. Yeah, we'll be doing another one Saturday in the dome, which we just walked into. This is the stone circle. This is the very first ceremony. I was laid out in the middle of that, looking up at the stars. Beautiful it was. Amazing. That'll be all. Thank you very much. And I'll see you again. Bye.